I'm going back to beat. I'm no, no, I need this because I, I need I need to get the video done. God, bloody hell, you don't know how much I'm working. I'm working until 11, 12 last night, and I've been up this late this morning trying to do this video. <laughs> right, question number one, Martin. <laughs> Martin. What? How long have you been in hospital radio, Martin? How long have you been in hospital radio? Uh, two years. Two years, and uh, what's been the most enjoyable part of those two years? Um, not being where? Not being there. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Uh, what's been the most enjoyable part this year? Um, um, don't know. Right, I see. Um, what made you join Hospital Radio? An advert in the paper. And uh, why was you? Um, just why did you decide to come into them to this? Uh, because I wanted to do some more DJ and that type of stuff. So it's to college. They are. You've got an answer at last. Right, I see. Um, another question, quick. That's enough. Goodbye, uh, Chima. What do you think hospital radio is for? Oh, he's hung up the... C just about sums it up. You're listening to me. My name is Paul Boone. Many thanks to Mandy Finch for the previous hour. You've got me, my show, the Bits and Pieces show on a Monday night. Starting off with this one by The Art of Noise. And what Monday night would be right without The Art of Noise? What type of show do I do? Um, yes I do. Um, my show is called The Bits and Pieces show because I play bits and pieces of various bits and pieces. <laughs> Well, you're going to hate that record forevermore. Forevermore. Do you like that? I thought that was funny. Anyway, as I promised, the time is rapidly getting on now. It's almost 20 minutes past 10 o'clock. So, it's time for some more Art of Noise, I think. We're going to have this one. It's EFL. And it's, um, well, it's a bit different. You can relax to this one, unlike the others. <coughs> Um, I've enjoyed working with the tech team the most and uh, doing things like um, painting the walls and uh, really decorating up the studio. Your favourite music, this is Hospital Radio. Radio. With Matt Day, it's eight minutes before eight o'clock. John Crossley is just eight minutes away with Friday Frolics. It's been Matt Day on Harlow Hospital Radio, and we haven't finished playing the three tracks off of our featured compact disc. We still have Mary Clacton and Yes to play, so that's coming up right now. What made you join Hospital Radio? Oh, I joined Hospital Radio because I wanted a bit of a challenge and help people out at the same time. And radio seems a pretty good medium to broadcast on, so decided to come down here and work it for you. My dad works at the hospital, so he got a bit of inside information, so I decided to come and join you, as opposed to Radio Stortford, which is closer. What is your dad doing? My dad works in the... Um, no, <laughs> cut this, cut this. <laughs> he works in the... Um, he works in the work... In the, 
like just when you wards get built, everything like that. Nita Baker on Hospital Radio with a track called Sweet Love. We're going straight to the independent radio news now for 8 o'clock. Between 8 and 9.30, you've got the pleasure of John Crossley's company with Friday Frolics. Take care. Bye-bye now. The 8 o'clock news, this is Steve Allen. Judge? Deregulations in broadcasting. Um, I haven't really formed my opinion on that yet. I want to wait until I get a bit more information, then I'll decide. Right? Deregulisation means to me even more video recorders, <laughs> more muck on the airways, uh, never getting around to watching anything that I've recorded, uh, never finding the station I want on the radio. I have difficulty enough now. Now there's even more stations appearing. Um, just basically completely lost having to learn French, German and all the other languages. And do the buttons. Oh, the buttons. Yes, this is my... Just in case for people who have never seen me naked, there is my internal workings. Yes. The think circuit, the brains, and there you can see the stomach. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. And I'd recommend to any newcomer joining the station, which I'm still working on. And uh, you can see the effects by the looking at the um, cart machines. <laughs> Has no effect at all. Thank you. And this is your um, anatomy of it? Yes, there I am, incomplete. That's me there. That is... where am I? I can't see. Is that? What a stomach, eh? Women just ripple over that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll do videos as well for the hospital, by the way, but no one ever mentions that. Channel 1, Harlow Hospital Radio. It's Dino Ferrari, 6.32, 8 o'clock on a Monday evening. We play in two in a row, and this is the start. It's the Isley Brothers, and the first one, Summer Breeze. How long have you been with Hospital Radio? I joined Hospital Radio just before the Gospel Festival 87, so that would be about 15, 16 months. What does Hospital Radio mean to you? Uh, the reason I joined Hospital Radio was to help charity because the hospital did a lot for my son when he broke his leg. So really it's just giving back something to the community. What's there is Summer Breeze, the Isley Brothers, 1973. I'll be coming back very shortly with Disco Night. But just to let you know, I'll be reading from the blurb newspaper, The Sun, telling you what the headlines are and what they've got in store. And also giving you a rundown of the programmes this week on Harlow Hospital Radio, Channel 1 and 2, depending on where you are in the hospital. And I'll also be uh, playing the music I like. And this is it. Upbeat, Isley Brothers. Back from the 70s, about 1978, it's a disco night. Uh, having heard everyone else ask this question about deregularisation, I think we could lose a lot of people, uh, would-be members, would-be DJs, would-be technicians, to community radio when it starts up. And really, I hope we don't.
morning to you. A late afternoon, or welcome to the Late Late Sunday Morning Show with yours truly, Wayne Heath, taking you through to the hour of one o'clock. The sound of Bill Withers with Lovely Day. Just one to make, wake you up on this Sunday afternoon. I've got to finish sharp today as I'm straight down the pub at one. If anyone wants to join me, I mean, you know, they're more than welcome. Andy Smith coming up after the one o'clock news. Until then, you lucky people, you, it's me, Wayne Heath. Then without one alone. What's the funniest thing that's happened to you whilst broadcasting? Um, probably my first show. My first show about, like I said, a year and a half ago, I started off on the, uh, on the chart show. And I come in here all on my own after my training with Ian Simmons. And we only had one deck working. So I had quite a bit of fun trying to do a chart show with one deck on my first show. That was quite good. <laughs> Lovely sound of Bill Withers on a Sunday afternoon, released 1977, re-released 1988. Uh, that, was, of course, was the original. Nothing but the originals on this show. That's why we have Andy Smith at one o'clock. Ah, this sounds good to me. Off the album, bad. This one on the seven inch. Mr. Michael Jackson, a wacko jacko. It just makes me feel like getting up and dancing. Don't dance up on the walls, so I get told off by the nurses. Michael Jackson, Smooth Criminal on a Sunday afternoon. Harlow Hospital Radio, Channel One, the music power of Harlow. What do you think of deregulation? Nigel, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> How long have you uh, been with Hospital Radio? What's the most outstanding thing that's happened to you this year? What do you think of deregulisation? Is it true your mother was a bitch? 